Here comes the rain. Been digging this hole up for about, feels like forever, man. Oh, something just took off there. All right, mate. Whoa! That's going in the pan with a little bit of oil, a bit of salt and pepper. We got heaps of mullet. That gives me hope. Come on, this is it. This is a moment. I paddled back up the creek. I've got the car set out, caught myself a couple of gar again. So I'm gonna use them as live bait to try and catch something bigger. Oh, we are going. This hand reel suck. The timer starts right now. I'm gonna be spending the next three full days completely solo living on my property, eating only what I can catch. If you guys are new here, I live in this beautiful home on 18 acres of land. We've got a creek and mangrove system running through the back of the property. And I've decided to challenge myself to three full days alone, only eating what I can catch from this exact land. So the rules are gonna be simple. I'm not allowed to use my car and I'm not allowed to step foot out of the property. However, to make this a little bit fair, I'm allowed to jump in that creek and head out as far as I want with it, but I don't have a boat or a ski. My only means of transport on the water is gonna be a stand-up paddleboard. I've picked up a few other bits and pieces to help me out. I got myself a hand spear. I got a mask and snorkel. I have a bow with six new bow fishing arrows, a couple of fishing rods, and a dirt bike. Shit. And that's how quick it takes to get down to the creek. See, it runs all through here, up that way, and the house is just up there. Uh, that's not great. Oh, my fuel's leaking. Oh, shit. Holy Okay guys, we're off to a wild start here. Nearly blowing myself up on the bike already. There's fuel leaking all over the engine and exhaust there, but I wanted to bring you guys down here to this creek just to show you how close it was to the house. Now, I have not explored this creek properly yet. I've walked a little bit down it, but I have not gone right around with a supper or anything like that before. I just bought that thing yesterday for this video. So what we'll do is I think for day one, I'm gonna wait for this tide to come up because, okay, uh, that, that'll get you. Crab hole. I guess that's a good sign. So that tide's coming up in a couple hours, and then um, I'm gonna pack the gear, send it out there for day one, and just catch as much food as I can today, because it's an absolutely stunner of a day. Oh, almost gone in the creek. Holy crap, bike's leaking fuel. What the hell just happened? I don't know if I got that. I'm back down the creek. How is the friggin' setup? It's a brand new 10 foot, four inch stop. Never been used, so we're about to absolutely destroy this thing. It is blue, it's beautiful, but um, when my feet go on it, it's gonna be ruined. Check out this box I got at the front here. Got a fishing rod, hand spear, a couple of GoPros, some fishing arrows. These have actual bow fishing arrow tips, so they're gonna be awesome. I've attached the bow to the side here. It's all the crucials in there, guys. So pretty much, if I tip this thing, and that bucket goes to the bottom, we've lost everything. <laughs> I'm actually really proud of this setup. Hope you guys like it, it's friggin' awesome. So, main thing is, we just cannot tip this thing over right now. I'm about to launch this thing into the creek, and we're gonna punch straight down that creek with these small brim, mullet, there's shovel no sharks, stingrays, I've seen turtles, mud crabs, everything is out there. Here it goes. We are on, guys. We're friggin' on. Wow, that current is ripping. I cannot wipe the smile off my face. This is sick. I've always wanted to sup this creek. I've been living here for a couple months now, and I have not done this yet. I've been waiting for the perfect time to film it. Now, it's quite... Right, I might just sit down. This is easy work. Oh, 
the mangroves in there. We can find crabs. Guys, I'm frothing out right now. You have no idea. This is unbelievable. Crap, let's just put my rod off. Okay, we're coming up to the tightest little bit here. Fishing rod's gonna have to come down. No one said this was gonna be easy. This is easy work. It is certainly not. But we just made it through that first obstacle. Oh, big muddy was sitting right there. That's his hole up the back, but I bloody missed him. Okay, this might be harder than I thought. That's right, there'll be plenty more. And feel that wind, that could be bad. It could be really bad, guys. Feel that wind pumping through, which means pretty likely that the opening is just up here. It's hell windy. Look, as soon as I stop paddling, it just blows me into the creeks. Oh! Whoa, we got a shark. We got a shark. I tried to grab that shark. Show you guys, we couldn't eat him. Well, we could, but that would be absolute worst case scenario. These special arrows that I bought, the beautiful thing about them is they float. I just paid 120 bucks for six arrows, $20 each, and they sink. The guy ripped me off at the store, what the hell? There's a baby shovel nose shark. He's just looking at me right there. He is absolutely way too cute to shoot. Look at him coming. Oh. Hey buddy, say hi to everyone. You got some sand on your nose. You have been digging, huh? Bye mate. Shovel nose sharks are definitely something that you can eat. They're tasty. Actually, I haven't had one, I'm, I'm lying. They look tasty to me, but um, I'm not gonna shoot that guy. In a real life survival situation, I'd go after him, but just for entertainment purposes on YouTube, I don't wanna shoot him. Woo! I'm basically surfing now. Oh. Okay. That's what happens when the bottom hits the log and I almost skewer myself on arrows. We've made it. Extend that a little bit. So calm in here. Yeah, here we go. Oh, fish. <laughs> we got a mullet. I've been hiding in this tree for about 30 minutes. Nothing's come past yet, but I see a shadow coming. It's coming by the tree right now. Oh, it's a turtle. Good to see you, buddy. You're just not what I'm looking for. Can't shoot you. You're too beautiful. Shoot, sure, buddy. Not even a crab. Oh, there's a little fishy. Okay, my last hope for the shallows is just up in here. Looks like a really good hiding spot, actually. Oh, there's a little fish. And there's a hole just here. Big hole. Whoa! Holy! <laughs> Holy! Whoa! Okay, I won't lie, giving up a bit of hope in here. It's a little reef shark. Hmm, should I? Pretty hungry, guys. Oh, he's so cute, though. Oh, there he goes, I'll leave him. Damn, oh, another one. Whoa. I don't know if I should take one of these. Look at it, oh, he's so tiny. He's probably a bit small. Oh crap. Crap, crap, crap. Oh, he's coming for the splash. I can see some bait moving, so I've grabbed the cast net. It's been years since I've thrown one of these. 
Not bad though. Come on. Yes. Yes. Oh yes. We got gar. We've done it. Two gar right here. Something good. Another little bait fish here. Oh. We got a stick last cast. Chosen off gear now. It's been a big bloody day. Woo! I seem to get a bit of hate on these types of videos. People think because I'm living inside that I'm just gonna eat food. I'll prove you wrong here for the haters. This is my fridge. It's currently falling apart and well, it's broken. So that's why it's sitting outside. I just bought a new fridge. Take you inside and show you. So here's the brand new fridge that I just bought. As you can see, it's completely empty. There's, there's a water bottle. There's just nothing in here. While I've been changing over fridges when the other one broke, I didn't want to buy groceries and have them go off, which is why I decided now it'd be a good time to do this video and eat what I can catch. I also have a spare fridge here, and that's just got beers and the fish from today. Always gonna get those comments. I don't need to prove myself to anyone, but I just thought I'd show you guys that the situation here is I have nothing, and that's why I'm trying to do this right now. Plan is I'm gonna eat these tonight. The rest of these little guys are gonna go in the crab pot. I'm just gonna use one pot and I'm gonna set it in a really good spot to maximize my chances rather than putting multiple pots out with like one crappy little bit of bait. Oh, gets tight through here. All right, let's go. I can't believe I was paddle boarding through here today. This feels like one of the longest days I've ever lived. Heaps of crab holes along here, which is great. But I'm gonna go up a little bit further. Oh yeah. Here we go. That's what I was looking for. Oh, done. The kookaburras are going off in the background. This is all I'm having for dinner tonight. I've butterfly filleted these two bits. That's going in the pan with a little bit of oil, a bit of salt and pepper, and that's it. That is extremely hot. Skin side down going in. These will go down quick. Here we go, first bite all day. And I'm starving. Slept in a little bit, but we're here. Checking pot, number one, the one and only actually. See if we got a feed this morning. I'm feeling a lot better than I was last time, but I'm starving still, so. Hopefully there's something in there, please. Oh, one would be great. Oh no. No, man. Oh. Three muddies and not one of them illegal. We've got two little babies here. Slightly bigger one back there. Cheers. <laughs> oh. Right, I'm going on foot today. The sop was a lot of work yesterday, and we got some mud flats right next to the house. So I've got the bow, a couple arrows falling out the, uh, out the back here. So it's just got the bow, a bit of water with me, a few arrows, and just down from the house here on the other side is the mud flat. So I'm gonna track along here, see if I can find a bit of an opening, and um, we'll start looking for something to hunt. Tide's pushing up, so so are all the animals, and um, hopefully we get a bit of sun. Time. That's a big crab hole. Guys, we got some shocking weather. Big storm coming in. Can't catch a break with this weather and just the lack of stuff getting around, but these mud flats have a few good holes around them. And here's another big one. That's surely got to have a big muddy in it. Just using this to see if there's something in here. Instead of putting my bare hand down, because I've done that a fair bit recently. Hey, there's a big muddy in there. Oh, 
Oh, yes. How the hell am I gonna do this? Here comes the rain. I've been digging this hole up for about, feels like forever, man. He's right here, I think. All that work for a tiny ass male mud crab. Man, I thought that hole was big. That is a baby male mud crab, nowhere near the legal size. So you know I can't, can't take this guy. You win. Go home. in my backyard and I did not even oh, know about this. What the hell? Oh, whoa. It's a mud crab. Maybe he's a bit small. There's crab holes everywhere. Oh. Missed him. Oh. Another little one. What they do is they try and hide in the murk of your feet. So if you don't move, he's got nowhere to hide, but watch this. If I step, boom, he hides into all the murk on my feet and I can see he's gone. Can't see him. Oh, see that? He's gone. That's how they do it. I don't even know where they go, but he's just disappeared. He's followed it down. That's so smart. Good job, buddy. I reckon he'll grow up to be a pretty big crab. He knows what he's doing. I've been walking around here for quite some time. And I'm just too hungry, I'm bloody over it. So only another day and a half, I think we're halfway through this thing. So I'm gonna have the biggest friggin' burger or wings or something at the end of this challenge tomorrow night. Cause I'm, it's not looking like I'm catching much today. Holy crap. This is some of the longest I've gone without food. Usually I can get something. Can't believe it, eh? Completely mangled the thing. Um, that sucks. Gonna need to buy a new drone, but what I'll do now, is head down to the creek with the cast net, see if I can get me some more bait, set a pot. That's about all of the uh, ideas I've got this arves. We got heaps of mullet. Not heaps, but we got a couple of mullet. That means we're setting pots again. Let's go. Whoa, first cast. Woohoo! That gives me hope. Here's the final haul. Got a whole bunch of these little mullet, and I'm gonna set two pots this time. So, double the chances. If we get no crabs tomorrow, I'm gonna cry. Pot number one, going in the creek just here. Wouldn't be my first spot to put a pot because it's pretty high up the creek, but there's heaps of holes on the bank, so fingers crossed. I won't lie kind of lost the hunger this afternoon it's been that long so what generally happens is your body just stops getting hungry for a bit so I was probably burning all this beautiful skies this morning <laughs> we got a big muddy oh my god first big crab and it's a damn female 
Hunger is at an all new level. Females have tiny claws. That's how I could tell if this crab was a male and his, he was that big, his shell, his claws would be up here. Like, he'd be an absolute giant. When I pulled the pot out, I thought we were lucky. And then I saw the little claws. Females are real feisty too. Not just in the crab world. But yeah, we have to put it back, guys. I think I'm honestly happy just to see like a large crab in the pot, just knowing that's the one right in the backyard. So we'll check this other one. It's gotta be a good one in here. Come on, this is it. This is a moment. This is a friggin' moment. I've never been more devastated in my entire life. Holy crap, man. I, I was holding out hope that there'd be one in here. Jeez, man. Day three and pretty much no food this whole challenge. I'm back up the creek. Obviously the water's too dirty to dive, so the only other option is to go rod and reel fishing. I've paddled back up the creek here from where we were day one. I've got the cast net out, caught myself a couple of gar again. So I'm gonna use them as live bait to try and catch something bigger. But I pretty much just got my trolling rig here. I've thrown a sinker on. Um, don't know how that ended up in my tackle box. Beautiful sinker if you ask me. Um, and I've just got a big ass hook. So we're gonna grab one of these live gar that I just caught in the cast net. Guys, I don't usually like fishing with live bait. I'm not a fan of it, but um, it's all I got right now. So I might just whack one of these guys out and I might just chop the others up, but we've put him on the hook. All right, that rod's gonna sit there. I'll loosen that right up, so if something starts taking it, we'll know. He'll be kicking a little bit in the current like that, so hopefully a shark or something cool comes along, snaps him up, and starts running with that, and then we'll be on. But for the others, I just brought myself a little hand reel. Something's gotta take that. Well, I just had a massive run and I've been snagged. That's really promising though. Something took that and freaking ran with it. Just pulled in the shark rod. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm actually standing in the water that I'm fishing like a meter that way, which is kind of dumb. Oh yeah. We were on, we were on, holy crap. I was just getting B-roll. This thing is big, crap man, I'm getting tangled. We are on, oh, no, 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 no. Come on, don't lose me, no, no, no. Don't lose me. I think we lost it. This handrail sucked. Guys, 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 guys. Okay. Something crazy is happening right now. I was just lying there. What have we got? Come on, we got a fishy. Oh! We got a shark! Oh! Oh! My line is so tight. Oh no, don't get tangled, buddy. Don't get tangled. Holy shit! Oh, no. oh. I'm cursed this video. I'm absolutely cursed. Clouds blown over, winds picked up. left the property and I've gone and bought some food we got some burgers right here the challenge is done guys look at this this thing is heavier than a brick we bought some loaded fries oh. <laughs> we're about to have a feed cheers cheers
Mm -hmm. I haven't eaten for days. <laughs> oh. Alright guys, just remember in life, if you're working hard, doing your things, don't forget to treat yourself once in a while. Even if you don't do exactly what you wanted to do or achieve what you want to achieve, don't be afraid to treat yourself every now and again, alright? Thanks guys. We'll see you in the next one.